in this question we are told that there are two different quadratic equations and uh, they have uh, one root which is common and the three roots the three unique roots are a b and c such that the sum of the three roots a plus b plus c is equal to 41 and product of the roots of one of the equations is 35 so if you assume that uh, one of the roots because these are just variables if say the other equation is say b and c and the roots of the first equation are say a and b such that b is the common root we can assume that because there is nothing mentioned about a b and c we are just told that uh, the sum of them is 41 and if b into c is equal to 35 and as we are told that all of them are positive integers the only two ways in which we can express 35 as a product of two natural numbers is if it is either expressed as 1 into 35 or it is expressed as 5 into 7. These are the only two ways in which you can express 35 as a product of two positive integers. This would imply that in the first case, the sum of b plus c is 36. So, the value of a will be equal to 5. In the second case, the sum of uh, b plus c is 12. So, the value of a is 29. Or the three roots in the first case will be 5, 1 and 35. And in the second case, the three roots will be 29, 5 and 7 in some order. We are not very concerned about what is A, what is B, what is C, which is the root that is repeating. Those are things that we are not concerned about. What we do know is that there are only two cases possible. In the first case, the three unique roots are 5, 1 and 35. In the second case, the three unique roots are 29, 5 and 7. Let us look at the five options and we are required to calculate which of them is definitely correct. The first one is says that the common root is 29. This need not necessarily be correct because it is quite possible that we will be looking at the first case in which case 29 is actually not the common root. It is actually not the root of any of the two equations. So, this is not necessarily correct. The second one is that the smallest among them is 1. Again, we will be looking probably at say second case in which case again we can't be sure that 1 is uh, part of the roots of any of the two quadratic equations. So, this also is not correct. The third one says that one of the roots is 5. This is true in the first case and this is true in the second case. So, option C is definitely correct irrespective of whether we are looking at the first case or the second case. Option D says that the product of the roots of the other equation is 5. Again, this we can't say for sure because the product of the roots in the second case will be either 35 or 145 or 29 into 7 which will be I think 203. Again, you can't say this for sure. So, this also is not true. All of the above, but none of them are definitely correct. This also is actually false. So, the only option which you can say with certainty that it is correct is option C.